it's Brock here from Rock Hill Farms and today we're gonna try out a different use for this Artillion stump bucket. Now, I mowed my yard the other day for the first time this spring and it was about as pleasant as operating a jackhammer. I mean just beat me up the whole time. Number one, the problem we already had is I don't know if you can see it here, but there's rocks jutting out of the ground all over the place. There's 10 of them just right here that already make it a rough ride, make it a risk of hitting your mower blades as you go over them. But then additionally to that, since last summer when I was mowing, I spent all winter driving around on the tractor. And now I've got ruts from the tractor all over the place. And so like I said, it just beat me up riding the mower. So. One of my first jobs this spring is to smooth the ground out. So step one is tonight, see how many of these rocks we can dig out with the stump bucket. I think it's gonna do a great job for it. I've dug out a couple of rocks before, but we're gonna do, I mean, there's hundreds of them that need taken out of, of the yard, just the part we mow with the regular mowers. So we're gonna get on it and get that done. Then tomorrow I'm gonna pick up a load of topsoil and spread over and fill these holes and put some seed down and see if we can make it a little bit more pleasant to mow around here. So let's get started. About the only struggle I had with this is visibility because when you're pulling up to the rock or the stump or whatever you're digging out you can't really see where your point is hitting and sometimes I would come down right on top of the rock I got better with it pretty quickly and learned um, to kind of pick a reference point first make sure I'm lined up left and right as I approach and then pick a reference point for where to stop and dig in and once I got the hang of it usually I could hit it on the first try without having anyone line me up
So I've got some trench that I need to dig for electrical conduit because next week or so I'm going to run electrical over to this storage building that you can see in the shot here. And I could dig that with the backhoe, but there's not a lot of space to get the backhoe in between those two buildings and turn around. And it feels like it'd be difficult to dig the center of it. So I'm going to use that as an example and give a full comparison between digging with a backhoe or trenching with the front hoe for tasks like that. Because you can pretty quickly dig a nice trench with this front bucket. It really is a versatile little attachment. I've already found a lot of uses for it and I'm just getting started. Alright, well it's about to get dark, so I better shut the camera off. I've still got some more rocks on the other side of the house to dig out, but as you can see this thing gets the job done, and if I get a roller and some, some topsoil in here tomorrow, we'll get this smoothed out a lot better. So I've always been calling this a stump bucket, because when I started looking at them, that's what was in my mind the most to do, was small tree stumps. but it's a lot more than that. You can use it as a trencher, you can use it for rocks, you can use it for stumps, obviously. So it's a pretty um, versatile piece of equipment. I appreciate you taking time to watch this video. In just a minute, you'll see links on the screen to a couple more of our videos, and I'll see you next time.